everyone. Welcome to my 15 week update on baby number two. So this week baby is the size of a box of crayons, which I think is adorable. Um, it's also the size of have um, my Ovia app that I um, they give me four different things to compare the size to. So it's also the size of an avocado or an eclair or a yellow canary. It's also the size of an apple. So lots of things that are actually relatable instead of like a fig or a kumquat. But the box of crayons I thought was super adorable. Um, so this week the legs are now longer than the arms. So that's good. It's looking more human-like. The taste buds are starting to form this week. Again, baby is practicing breathing by swallowing amniotic fluid. It's also working on its first poop, the meconium poop. The heart is now starting to pump, to pump a lot of blood now. Um, also, baby can bend knees and elbows now, and so it's moving a ton, which I feel like I might be feeling baby here and there, but it's very non like inconsistent. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm feeling baby, but then it's like, it's like I feel it once a day or something, like it's very inconsistent, so I don't know if I'm really feeling baby or if it's just gas, but, um, hopefully soon I will be feeling it very consistently. Symptoms for this week, I'm exhausted. So, um, a couple of weeks ago I talked about how I stopped taking the Unisom at night and um, that seemed to help my exhaustion. I seemed to be um, doing better during the day and not needing to rely on coffee and not needing you know, anything to help a nap or anything. And that did work a couple days, but it seems like this week um, I am just exhausted all the time. I'm super tired, and I don't know if it's because I, I am waking up in the middle of the night to pee and stuff, but I do feel like I'm not having as hard of a time falling asleep because I am so exhausted, but I have had to start drinking coffee again just because I am exhausted. I'm just so tired all the time, and this was not the case with Grayson, so... Uh, when I was pregnant the first time, I did not have this exhaustion. I'm just so tired, so incredibly tired. That's like my main thing. I have been sneezing a ton, and now they do say pregnancy, like if you have allergies, um, pregnancy does tend to like magnify those symptoms. I don't have allergies, however, I might have seasonal allergies. It is springtime, and so like a lot of the outside, you know, leaves and things are changing. And so I'm wondering if maybe I have like mild seasonal allergies that I that don't really affect me, but now that I'm pregnant, it is affecting me. I don't know, or maybe I'm just getting another cold. I'm not sure, but I am sneezing like crazy, and I'll have times where like my nose will be running a lot. So I'm not quite sure what that is. I feel like my appetite has kind of gone down. I am not hungry all the time as much. Um, sometimes I'm like, yeah, I really just don't want to eat a meal, even though I should. Uh, so that's been kind of different. I really haven't been wanting to snack too much either. I've been having more, um, crazy dreams, and lately my dreams seem to center around people getting pregnant, which is, like, super random. I had a dream that my friend got pregnant, then on a separate day I had a dream that Anthony's mom was pregnant, then just last night I had a dream that my sister Allison was pregnant, like just very weird random dreams. But thankfully like they're not scary dreams anymore, they're just really weird dreams. <laughs> I've been having problems with like constipation. Um, I don't feel like I had it that much when I was pregnant the first time, but this time I am having problems with that, which is not fun. I don't seem to be like super gassy anymore, which is nice. Uh, so that's been kind of a trade-off, I guess. My nausea has basically gone away. I really don't feel nauseous at night or anytime during the day anymore, which is just, oh, finally, thank you. So um, yeah, I'm super happy about that. My belly is getting bigger. I will show you guys. I have kind of like a tighter shirt on today, so. Um, as you can see, this is my belly, so yeah, getting bigger. My breasts are also getting bigger as well, I say this every week 
it's, it's just it's true it's just they're getting bigger and my stomach is getting bigger so cravings I usually don't crave very much of my pregnancies I really haven't had any cravings except the one time I really did want salty french fries lately I have been craving pop and I don't know if it's because I want that caffeine to help keep me awake or if I just want the taste of it since I'm pregnant and really any other time because my teeth really can't handle it, I try not to drink pop just because it's, again, not good for baby and not good for teeth. Um, but lately I have been craving it so bad. The other day I was about to leave. Anthony was home. Grayson was asleep for the night. I was literally about to go to McDonald's. They have that $1 any size drink. And I was about to go and get a large Coke. And the only thing that stopped me was the fact that it was pouring rain outside and I just didn't want to deal with all that. But I have been, yeah, like wanting pop so bad. I was drinking, I have like um, cold coffee, like iced coffee that I got from the store and it's like caramel flavored. I wanted pop so bad that as I was drinking the coffee, it like my body was trying to imagine that it was tasting like pop. It was just so weird. I So yeah, that's been like my craving right now is pop. I've not given into it yet, but... I mean, I really want it. I really want pop. I haven't had any bleeding at all this pregnancy. I didn't with Grayson either. Um, I don't have any nosebleeds at all. I really don't have any, too many negative symptoms. I have not gotten um, heartburn yet. Um, I know it's coming, but I haven't. Um, for a while, my back was hurting, but it's not hurting anymore, so I don't know if I just kind of slept funny on that. One of the things that has really been hurting me, which I'm not sure if it's part of pregnancy or I'm just sleeping on it funny, but my right shoulder has been killing me lately. And it does come and go, it's not consistent, but man, my right shoulder, it just like aches. And so I'm not sure like, is that a pregnancy thing? Like maybe my muscles are just like, cause they say like your body produces like relaxant, like relax your muscles, especially as your uterus and stomach grow. And so I'm not sure if like my shoulder is just like getting relaxed and so it's like aching me like that or if I'm sleeping funny because I'm sleeping on my side since I'm pregnant. I don't know but man it has really been killing me. So yeah I have been dealing with that. I was supposed to have my 16 week doctor's appointment next week but my doctor's office has called me and they have canceled that due to coronavirus and COVID. They just want to limit all their pregnant um, patients they want to limit their exposure to you know a doctor's office to someone who might have it especially because my doctor's office are in hospitals and so um, yeah I could be exposed to it um, there's not a lot of research on if coronavirus um, affects pregnant women they've done studies um, but not a lot of pregnant women have got it because I mean this thing has only been around since like December so there's not a lot of research to go on it but Anyway, they just want to play it safe and so they did cancel that appointment and instead I will go at the end of April for my 20 week appointment to do my anatomy scan. I was kind of disappointed that they canceled it. I understand why they're doing it, but it's sad because it's like I don't, I was going to hear baby's heartbeat, you know, I think they were going to do blood draw or something and, you know, just touch, get it in, in touch with my doctor, but I know I could call her at any time if I had any questions, which I don't. And it, and I also should be happy that they don't want to see me because that means they don't feel like I'm high risk. Um, so that's a good thing as well. Thankfully, I do have a home Doppler that I got back when I, for my first pregnancy. And so I have been able to use that. Now that baby is bigger, it is much easier for me to find baby's heartbeat. Um, beforehand, I used to search and search and search. Sometimes I could find it. Sometimes I would find it. Sometimes I couldn't find it. And sometimes I would find it after like 20 minutes of searching. Um, a couple days ago I went and tried to find it and I found it like within five seconds like I found it super fast so it's been much easier to find the heartbeat and I can reassure myself um, so you know I'm really happy that I do have this home Doppler I don't use it all the time just every so often because I'm not feeling kicks consistently it is nice to hear that heartbeat so I am happy that I have that since I can't go to my doctor's office but I will be going for the anatomy scan with this whole thing with COVID, coronavirus, um, they've shut down a lot of stuff. Um, I'm in Ohio, and so we're kind of on lockdown, but it's like a soft lockdown. They've closed all the gyms, and uh, restaurants are only to go or carry out. Um, movie theaters are out. Um, uh, 
they closed one of the malls here. I think the other one is open, but a lot of the stores are closing down. So it's just kind of changing how life is for a little bit while we tackle this virus. So far, my elective ultrasound facility has not closed down yet. I am hoping that they stay open so that we can do the uh, elective ultrasound. It will be one week from tomorrow. So, I mean, a lot of things can change in, what, eight days? But so far they are staying open, so we will see. If not, and they do close, I can always do, um, they have like sneak a peek, you can order online, you just do a blood test at home and then send the results and then they tell you. So I always have that as a backup, but it's not as fun as, you know, going in, getting an ultrasound, seeing baby, and they can do like 3D, 4D. So I'm hoping that stays open, but who knows, I'll keep you guys updated. I've been getting um, headaches a lot more than previous, um, so I have been taking Tylenol for that. Yeah, I think that's kind of it. I'm tired, so uh, Grace taking a nap. I'm gonna go grab a cup of coffee because I am so tired. I could nap, I guess, but I don't know. I'm really bad at napping, and I'm kind of person like if I ever do nap, I wake up feeling worse than what I was. So I just, I don't know. I'm just gonna do coffee instead. <laughs> but make sure to like this, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment down below if you're pregnant. How is COVID? affecting you um if you are pregnant you know stay safe out there all of you guys stay safe out there and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys